This calculation requires two, two calculations, and uh, it also doesn't sit, doesn't fit the first part of it at least doesn't fit very well with the with the standard want over have um, drug calculation formula, so it's a nice one for us to look at to show the power of the um, of the of the table of setting things out in a, in a table. Uh, it's similar to example six in module one B on your Moodle site. So after you've watched this clip, you might like to go back and try the last couple of questions in the practice problems under um, Module 1b. Firstly, just reading through this problem, we've got a drug that's available as 2 milligrams contained in 15 milliliters. And we've got a second sentence there that says a woman has a body surface area of 1.36 square meters and has been prescribed the drug at a rate of 500 micrograms per square meter. So the first thing we need to work out is how many milligrams of the drug is needed. So this problem is about a um, lotion that's going to, to be used. The first sentence tells us about the concentration of the lotion, that 15 milliliters of the lotion contains 2 milligrams of the active ingredient. The second sentence tells us the rate that we are meant to put the ingredient on the skin area for this woman. So it's been prescribed at a rate of 500 micrograms per square meter, and this woman is 1.36 square meters. So from that sentence we can work out how many micrograms of active ingredient this woman needs, and from there we can work out how much of the lotion we need to contain that much drug. The units involved in the first part of this problem then are micrograms and square meters. I've given you two abbreviations for microgram. You'll see both on um, medication labels. Um, microgram with a, a Greek mu uh, is the SI standard for microgram and sometimes you'll see it that abbreviated MCGM. And just a reminder that a microgram is a very small unit there are a thousand micrograms in a milligram. So our units then, our micrograms and square meters, our numbers are we've got a drug coming as 500, oh sorry, our, our order is for five micrograms for every one square meter of skin. This woman has 1.36 square meters of skin that we are going to cover. So this time the number that we're looking for is up in this top box. So just thinking about reasonableness, a reasonable answer again, um, if she had one and a half square meters of skin, uh, one and a half times 500 would be 750 micrograms. 1.36 is a bit more than one and a third square meters, so we certainly expect our answer to be between 500 and 750 as a ballpark figure. Okay. Once again, there's a couple of ways that you can that you can use the table to get your head around the numbers. We can see that 1.36 uh, is 1.36 times one. So if I multiply 500 by 1.36. That will tell me with a value in the uh, in the unknown spot, uh, or if you prefer the diagonal, which never fails us, uh, the unknown is in this box. So to work out the unknown value, I multiply the two diagonal the opposite numbers, 500 times 1.36. Sounds like what I just said, and this time I'm going to divide it by one which of course doesn't change the value. Okay, So either way you look at it, to find that unknown value, you're going to uh, multiply 500 times 1.36. And that will give us a value of 680. And our units are micrograms, because that's where the unknown value is. So I've got 680 
micrograms. And that sounds like a reasonable answer because I expected my answer to be between 500 and 750, and 680 certainly is that. Now, coming back to how the drug comes, it comes as 15 milliliters uh, containing 2, and 2 milligrams, so 2 milligrams per 15 milliliters. So the active ingredient there is given in milligrams. So to set up the next part of this, I need to have my micrograms expressed as milligrams or change the active 2 milligrams per 15 mils to micrograms per 15 mils. Either way, when I set up my table, I need to have the, um, I only get to use two units. Now, a general rule of thumb, if you change everything to the smaller unit, in this case the micrograms, uh, then you have less decimals. Usually, you usually have more whole numbers to work with. Whole numbers are easier to uh, estimate with, um, and so it's often easier to see whether your answer is reasonable if you're working with um, <clears throat> non-decimal numbers. So in this case, we're going to change everything to micrograms, the smaller unit, and then work out how much of the lotion is needed in order to get 680 micrograms. So now, setting up the second part of this problem, I'm going to take those uh, 2 milligrams per 15 mils, and I need to change my 2 milligrams. I need to express those in micrograms. So 2 milligrams is the same as 2,000 micrograms every milligram contains a thousand micrograms. So when I fill in my table here, my concentration is 2,000 micrograms in 15 milliliters. Notice that we've changed the, um, the units here to micrograms per milliliter because that's how the um, lotion comes. And from my earlier calculation, we want 680 micrograms, so that goes into here. So for this problem, I want 680 micrograms. I've got 2,000 micrograms per 15 milliliters. So our unknown value is down here in the bottom box again. I've got two numbers diagonally opposite, 15 and 680. So to work out my number, I've got 15 times 680 divided by the third number, which is 2,000. Thinking about the, a reasonable answer, uh, if I used 7.5 milliliters, that would give me 1,000 micrograms, so I'm going to need less than 7.5 milliliters. Uh, if you have that again, 500 micrograms, you get from 3.75, so we're looking at around 4 or 5 um, milliliters as a reasonable answer. And when you put that into the calculator, it comes up 5.1. And these are milliliters. Make sure you always put a unit on your answer, otherwise it's a meaningless number. And if you want to check your answer, throw that 5.1 up here in the question mark box and check that 15 times 680 is the same as 2,000 times 5.1. You'll find they are. And we've got um, 5.1 milliliters then that we're going to... Um, uh, spread over that 1.36 square meters of uh, body surface area skin.